Welcome to IITCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. So, following our skill drill portion, in this part, I am going to cover the medication administration. Okay. So, medication administration, so commonly, it is a most common procedure what will carry out in the pre-hospital, not alone the pre-hospital, mean the same time, in hospital also. You may think uh, this is the easiest procedure, why we want to again see this video. Again, some of the major important steps you may not aware, so I am not uh, blaming you, so you may not aware, those are the things. So, if you know also, you can take this video as a breast up video. Okay. So, medication administration ways, we used to deliver the drug in a various routes. So, uh, like routes like a peroral route, perrectal route and then intravenous, intravenous. So, all the all the uh, routes you can channelize into three categories. Means category 1 that is a enteral route, category 2 it is a parenteral route, category 3 it is a local route. So, enteral route is nothing but, so we are aiding the help of gastrointestinal tract or alimentary tract. So, here uh, you can tell the example like a peroral and then perrectal and then sublingual route. Okay. So, second category it is your parenteral route. So, parenteral route it is nothing but, so apart from your enteral route, so all the things which are you are accessing in the body that will come under the parenteral. So, the routes like your intradermal, subcutaneous, intramuscular and then your intravenous, intraosseous, so all the things that will come under the parenteral route. Local route in the sense that is nothing but your topical regions, all the creams, so everything will come under the creams and the ointment that will come under the topical route. So, in this video, mainly we are going to focus on the enteral route. So, enteral route, again I am telling, so definition weight, it is nothing but we are going to aid the help of alimentary tract or GA tract. Most commonly, we will use the proximal root of GA tract and the distal root of uh, GA tract. Proximal in the sense, there you can include the peroral, distal in the sense, perrectal. Again, this perrectal and then sublingual, uh, we will categorize under the one more subcategory that is the transmucosal. So, these are the overview or outline for the enteral root of drug administration and then medication administration. Now, we will get into the procedure, how we have to do the procedure in a perrectal uh, and then peroral and then sublingual. Now, we will see the uh, one scenario based thing. So, how we have to administer drug through the peroral and then sublingual route. So, here I have a paramedic staff with me, Miss Vidya and then I have a paramedic of ICT. So, he is a volunteer uh, patient for us. So, actually he is a paramedic. And then both we are going, they are going to demonstrate for us how to administer drug through the peroral and then sublingual route. So, first we will see the peroral route. So, the step 1 you have to remember, first you have to uh, reach the person and then you have to, uh, if it is a stable condition means you have to greet yourself, you have to introduce yourself. Main thing you have to verify the patient. So, patient identification, if the person have a patient mark or patient name, you can ask the patient name. If the bystander is accompanied means you can uh, collect the details from them. So, that is a step 1. Step 2, it is a history and then informed consent related. So, history wise, you have to, you can use that or sample mnemonic. So, signs and symptoms, uh, allergy history and then past medical, surgical history last oral intake and then even sleep to the injury. So, everything you have to collect in the history part. So, based on the history part, you have to, so here the person have a something, it seems like a chest pain, center chest pain he is complaining. So, the paramedic understand the uh, scenario. So, she obtained the history. Now, she is based on that, she is going to uh, choose the correct medication. So, that is the step 3. So, in step 3, what you have to do means based on that history, you have to choose the correct medication and then if you do, uh, if you have uh, idea means you can choose or if you want to concern with your concerned physician means you can take uh, advice from your concerned physician. And then third thing, so once you select the medication, so here we are talking about the per oral route. So, you have to verify, you, are, you choose the correct medication, correct dose. So, and then you have to remember that rights of the drug administration. So, you have to select the right patient, right drug, right dose and then right route you have to give at a right time or right frequency you have to administer. So, once you select the medication, so here we explain it is a peroral route, right. So, you have to take the medication and then 
if it is a multiple drugs means how many drugs you have in your hand that you have to count and then give to the person so before that you have to verify that a uh, uh, drug doesn't have any discoloration or uh, something like a cloudy appearance you have to check the expiry date and then coming into the next step that is a step four step four that is administration so you have to ask the person to take the medication so again i am explaining it is a pediatric group elderly means elderly or pediatric group means you have to count the drug and then one by one you can administer the drug so here we administer after that step five step five way uh, five will be you have to verify whether the person swallowed all the medication or not so that is one of the most important again in the case of uh, special population or pediatric and then geriatric cases because sometimes uh, that will be stick on their mouth sometimes uh, uh, while the time of incision that may fall on the ground so those are things you have to verify so from step one by step wise you have to follow the one by one so next is your sublingual root so again we told it is a category subcategory that is uh, transmucosal root so here mainly in this case again it seems like a chest pain so here ideally we are going to give a sublingual nitroglycerin so how to administer means you have to ask the person so ask the person to uh, lift the tongue under the tongue they have to place there that uh, tab they have to place so this is very simple so you can see once you lift the tongue up means there you can see the lingua frenulum so in that either left side or right side or under the tongue you have to ask the person to keep so here some of the step you have to keep in mind so you have to ask the person you have to tell the person clearly they should not swallow the medication second thing they should not chew the medication only they have to place under the trunk tank okay so once after some time it will dissolve automatically within 10 or 15 or one within one minute it will dissolve that you have to clearly state the person mean the same time sometimes it may cause some uh, smiled irritation so that is also you have to explain to the person so this is the thing regarding the sublingual so next is our per rectal root so this is also we told this is also trans your mucosal root one of the way of trans mucosal so it will absorb through the mucous membrane and then it will reach out the blood stream so here per rectal root mainly we, we are uh, we having a two format of medication that is one form is solid form or suppository like a form mainly we will use in the case of constipation or solid uh, drug like a form uh, tablet like a form where we will use for the if it is the case of uh, uncontrolled uh, seizure like a thing there we will use it suppository of our uh, the tablet form of perrectal root of diacepam right so that is the one thing second thing it will be available in the liquid format so that is your enema related things so enema also in the case of constipation we used to insert uh, some uh, fluids into that uh, through the perrectal we will inject and then we will take back that fluid so that is the two forms one is liquid format one more is a tablet format here first we will see the tablet format how to insert so the remember in this area with the consent of the person you have to open you have to expose the person in a uh, part alone you have to expose then uh, locate that anal canal in this area you have to administer the you have to insert the drug one to one and a half inch depth okay one to one and a half inch depth you have to insert the drug so closely you just ask the person to relax not too tight and then you have to ask the person to relax take ask them to take deep breath insert one to one and a half inch so likewise you have to insert for the uh, your uh, diacepam or suppository that is the thing you have to remember one to one and a half inch then moving on to next thing that is your uh, second part that is your enema related things here also there we don't have much you don't want to do anything much more so you will get a one thin tube so with the thin tube you are going to insert into the anal canal so the tube also it should be one to one and a half inch depth okay uh, some of the commercial pack we have a depth marker also you can go with the depth marker or else if you don't have a depth mark means one to one and a half inch just uh, assume and then insert into the tube sometimes if you don't have a, that uh, commercial pack the whole pack tubings thin tubings means you can go with an, some uh, smaller type of uh, endotracheal tube pediatric endotracheal tube you can go or else you can use the uh, suction catheter if you have I mean just insert and then through that you can inject that uh, uh, drug or enema or in that some other scenario you can use the nasopharyngeal airway or o2 tubings so those are the modification based on your resource you can think and then you can act 
So this is the way you have to administer the drug through the uh, perrectal route. So these are the overall idea regarding the enteral route. So we started with an peroral and then sublingual. Finally, we end up with an perrectal route. So do your best. Shalom.